Hello everyone. My name is Meghna Shivsagar and I am affiliated with University of Limerick based in Ireland. This talk will familiarize the audience on extracting meaningful insights by harnessing the power of knowledge graphs. The title of my talk is SC Marker Base Unleashing the Power of Single Cell and Knowledge Graphs in Differential Expression Profiling from Single Cell RNA Transcriptomic Data. In the last decade, knowledge graphs have gained popularity and emerging trends shows the wide applications of the same in the field of bioinformatics. Knowledge graphs have been successfully utilized to represent a human genome as well as to train as well as to serve as inputs to train graph neural networks which makes it all the more uh, relevant to utilize the power of harness the power of it in our work. SC marker base or knowledge graph is a representation of all the biomarkers extracted from existing literature and those derived from executing single cell RNA sequencing pipelines with the objectives to perform cohort analysis across different patient groups. The cohort analysis can shed insights on variable treatment outcomes between different population demographics. It can also help in understanding the tumor progression across different cancer stages. In future, this can advance researchers to develop targeted gene therapies. Single cell RNA sequencing allows profiling of gene expressions in individual cells using transcriptomic analysis, which can lead to detection of rare cell types and gene expression patterns, that is, whether the gene is over or underexpressed in cells. This can aid in detection of novel biomarkers that can be potential targets for developing new drug treatments. In our research, the format of data that we have used for our analysis is in the form of a matrix where the rows are genes and the columns are cells. The format of the data is UMI count data where UMI is unique molecular identifier and the numeric value within each of the cell represents the quantification of gene in a given cell type. Using UMI count data set allows to minimize bias introduced during library preparation, hence giving a more accurate detection of biological variation. The data set used in our experimentation is head and neck squamous cell carcinoma which was downloaded using the, uh, using the geo accession number and it contains 63 samples of disease as well as healthy people. Um, in uh, the patients in the categorized under uh, furthermore the patients categorized under um, the disease comes from the cells comes from two uh, different kinds that is the PBMC and the tumor infiltrating cells. The methodology that was used in our experimentation begins by reading the UMI count file then proceeding to eliminate batch effects introduced due to different capturing methods. This, uh, this is, um, the cells were batch corrected, the, sample, the cells from the samples were batch corrected using a couple of um, batch correcting algorithms such as the nearest neighbor and correlation algorithms based on nearest neighbor and correlation techniques. After the samples were batch corrected, the cells were grouped into clusters by making use of semi-automated and automated annotation tools annotation tools the cell to cluster assignment was followed by downstream analysis that is performing differential expression gene analysis resulting in a database of detected biomarkers in each cell type these were further represented in the form of node edge relationship to build a knowledge graph that is the sc marker base and which can be used to extract patterns based on underlying hypothesis by firing queries written in cipher. 
The tools used to cluster annotations were single R and SCMRM, which are semi-automated tools. The single R, uh, um, the labels, uh, the cluster labels obtained from single R were based on the use of blueprint and code data, which consists of stromal cells and immune cells, whereas SCMRM gives labels to the clusters. By making use of the Pangloy database. Similarly, we also used an automated, fully automated annotation tool that is cell typist, which can help to accurately classify different cell types and its subtypes using built in ML models. The choice of these three tools were also due to our study, which focuses on in immune cell populations, and all the three reference databases also focuses on immune cell types. To further validate the results obtained from uh, the semi-automated and automation automated tools, we defined all the marker genes that are uh, that existing for, from the scientific literature as baselines and compared the overlap uh, between the findings from the annotation tools to those that were present, those that are available in the literature from the existing studies existing and previous studies furthermore uh, we have restricted our studies to um, uh, immune cell uh, immune cells and its subtypes that is the t cells b cells dendritic cells macrophages fibroblast and endothelial cells and the results that were obtained from these annotation tools were again compared against the ba baselines the baselines being uh, the state of the art biomarkers that are identified by executing various pipelines on the single cell RNA sequencing data set. Furthermore, like uh, we defined earlier that knowledge graph is able to integrate data from multiple diverse sources. We also plotted a couple of heat maps for uh, the cells um, for the, to categorize the samples into various cell uh, the types that we obtain from the PBMC and for the tumor infiltrating cells and the results of uh, the dose that is the disease versus uh, the healthy and the gene expression data for those were also incorporated into our study in the SC marker base. The current heat map that is seen is for um, comparison of the gene uh, how the gene expression level is between the healthy and disease in tumor infiltrating cells whereas this particular slide is for the heat map that is for the disease versus healthy for the uh, cells from the pbmc SC marker base after incorporating all the uh, biomarkers and creating a knowledge graph helps us to extract patterns that can be of interest. For example, the current uh, pattern visible on the screen is to depict all the biomarkers that have been uh, that that have an overlap from each of the annotation tools. That is uh, all the biomarkers that were uh, agreed upon by all the three annotation tools, the single R, SCMRMA and cell typist. The next pattern that we observe and that was extracted from SC marker base was uh, to identify the difference in the gene expression levels between the healthy and diseases. Another interesting pattern that was extracted from a study was uh, at a more granular detail that is within the disease there were uh, two categories that is the HP positive and HP negative and uh, we were able to identify the differences in the gene expression in both of these categories. For example, one of the gene that was uh, identified LYZ is a proven 
prognostic marker for outcomes in HPV negative samples. And these are uh, the, and, uh, and this uh, study is already validated from uh, the established uh, study which is presented in Protein Atlas. Finally, to conclude, SC marker base can serve to perform cohort analysis for head and neck uh, squamous cell carcinoma, and we believe that uh, knowledge uh, that. Um, Knowledge graphs have been exploited um, for performing a cohort analysis for the first time. Moreover, due to its ability to scale and um, integrate uh, the data coming from various sources, in future, SE marker uh, base will be uh, extended to bring in information from uh, the different cancers that is to um, augment is the database by including biomarkers coming in from different cancers and in future this can be the first step that can be taken towards precision oncology where we would have um, a knowledge base of all biomarkers and we would uh, be able to identify genes that would be uh, that um, for, that can be used to um, treat patients coming for uh, being afflicted with different cancer types finally i would like to acknowledge professor edin kulen for a valuable support and guidance to this research and thanks to all the members of my team for their valuable contribution these are some of the key references that were used in our study. Thank you all for your patient listening and I am now open to any questions from your end.